Cleveland real estate is a scam for California investors. That's right. I said it. The guy who sells more Cleveland real estate to California investors than anybody is saying Cleveland is set up to scam Californians like you. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to help you accomplish your goals in real estate, right? Today, we're talking about the Cleveland scam of California investors, right? Cleveland sellers are fleecing money out of Californians like you every single day. And I'm here to put an end to it, baby. That's right. Californians can and do make a ton of money investing in the Cleveland market if they do the proper due diligence, if they buy their properties correctly. However, just because it's so cheap doesn't mean you Californians can't lose money because just as many of you that are out there that are making money investing in these cheap properties in Cleveland, there's probably triple the amount of Californians out there losing their butts, and I'm here to put an end to it, right? And today I'm working with my man Rafa. Rafa doesn't have a fortune to gamble on the Cleveland market. Rafa is a hardworking man from Ventura County, California. He's a truck driver. His wife is a teacher. They're making a good, honest living out there in Cali, but they don't just have millions to gamble, right? So they're smart. They're doing the proper due diligence on any Cleveland property they buy, and they're interested in buying this four-unit apartment building in Cleveland for a hundred and seventy-five thousand. But before they spend a hundred seventy-five thousand dollars, they want my take on the investment, which I'm going to give to you right after this, Rafa. Welcome back to the show. Let's pull up this four unit. Now, you're looking at this thing from Cali, right? You're like, oh man, 175 grand for four apartments. I can't go wrong. James Wise always tells me that the four unit apartment building is the best type of investment there is. And that's true. The four unit is the very best investment, okay? Here's why, folks. In real estate, we can finance better than any other industry there is, right? I don't think you could open a bar and get somebody to loan you 75% of the money you need over 30 years with a low fixed interest rate, right? It doesn't happen, but it happens in real estate, okay? But those beautiful 30-year notes, okay, they only work on single families, duplexes, triplexes, and quads. You get to five units, you no longer get those terms. You now got to get commercial terms, right? So if you're doing the math at home, you're like, oh, four is the most amount of rent I can get and still get this awesome 30-year note. Ding, 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 ding. You got it. That's why it's the best. But does that mean all four units are going to be great investments? Probably not. Definitely not for California investors. This one, this one I don't like for Californians, okay? 718 East 124th Cleveland, 44108. 175K, got it under contract, but is it a good deal, right? It looks like a can't miss, okay? They got the rent roll here, 635, 735, 700, okay? They don't list the last one, but they got it listed right here, 2820 a month, okay? That's a staggering 21.75% gross return on investment is what the listing agent, what the seller is saying. But 
That's the thing. That's the gross ROI. What is the real ROI? What do you actually take home? And that, that is where things get dicey. Who freaking knows? Okay? Who knows? This is literally one of the most dangerous neighborhoods in the United States of America, folks. This is where the due diligence comes in. Do not get blinded by the numbers, okay? You need to do your due diligence. Just because you can't get properties this cheap in California don't mean you can't lose. This is our four-unit apartment building, okay? The neighborhood here is so dangerous, so poor, so blighted, so risky that people just walk away from their properties allow them to become into a state of disrepair, a state of disrepair that is so bad and the after repair value is so low in this particular neighborhood that they just walk away and then the city tears them down, okay? Here's our four-unit apartment building. The lot right next door, vacant lot. Right here, vacant lot, vacant lot. So it borders, right? You have one, two, three lots bordering it, all vacant across the street. Vacant, 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 okay? Vacant, over here, vacant, vacant, vacant. Over here, vacant, 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 vacant. Cruise this way. Vacant, 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 vacant. Whole block of vacancy. Vacant, 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 vacant. Vacant. You see what I'm saying? This whole friggin' street over there gets torn down, okay? So just because the numbers appear like they're going to be good on paper doesn't mean it's actually going to be a good deal. And the market, the market is telling us the same thing, okay? When I, when I um, do comps, okay, on a densely populated area like this, okay? So I'm not talking like areas where people have like three, four, five acres, farms, things like that. Urban areas, densely populated areas, right? Per every acre, you're fitting a whole ton of houses, right? I don't know, like 10, 15 houses, something like that per acre, okay? I do them six months, quarter mile radius, okay? Similar properties. Well, when I do that, normally I'll get like 40 comps, okay? Here, properties are selling so few and far between because the area is so blighted. I pulled it out for five years and only was able to get 22 comps. But let's look at those comps. Duplex, 3,000. Duplex, 5,500. Duplex, 9,900. Okay. Duplex, 10 grand. Triplex, 10 grand. Duplex, 10,900. Okay. Oh, here's our, here's a quad. Here's the exact quad we're talking about. Okay. 11,920 is what it recently sold for. Another one. 14, 15, 25, okay, you see what I'm saying, 27, 28, 29, here's another fourplex for 30, a duplex, 34, 55, 70, you see what I'm saying, okay, this is the type of blight you're dealing with, so yeah, you got some tenants in here, okay, whatever, great, we got some tenants, we got some new mechanicals, but it's fool's gold, right, you're in an area where you'd never recoup this money, right? What you want to do, okay? What you want to do, folks, you want to buy the crappiest house in the nicest area. You don't want to pay <laughs> almost 200 grand in an area where you can pick it up for like 11. It's like a ghost town. There's no way for me to give you any type of estimate <clears throat> on how much money I believe you'd actually net out of this investment because I have no idea, right? Uh, this is an area where the only people that live there are people that choose to live there because they can't live anywhere else, right? Nobody's like, yes, I want to live in this area where the entire street got freaking torn down. I want to be surrounded by hookers, junkies, gangs. I love gang violence, man. Woo! Nobody's feeling that, and that is the exact picture of the blight you'd actually be getting here. And on top of that, the reason it's so difficult for California investors to invest in a property on a street such as this one is because who are you going to hire to manage it, right? That's the scam, right? Who are you going to hire to manage it? None of the big repu uh, reputable companies like Holton Wise or the other big property managers are going to send our maintenance crew, our leasing crew down to a neighborhood that's dangerous, right? Trucks get broken into, people. It's just, no. 
It doesn't make any sense, right? The customer gets all mad because a bunch of bad stuff happens and they lose money because anytime there's a problem, yeah, your property manager can fix your problem, but they don't fix it for free. They charge you to fix it, right? So very hard for you to make a profit. You're pissing us off because you're always crying and complaining about a property that like, hey, dude, that's just what it is. There's really nothing we could do. So we just don't take on the business because then my employees are stressed and then they're quitting and then I'm having a harder time staffing my company. So the big dogs don't usually take on uh, blighted management and renovation uh, properties such as this. So that leaves you to hire the Craigslist Cowboys, right? The unlicensed illegal property managers or the property managers that can't gain a big market share competing with the big dogs, right? So, you know, you got a super difficult area. That's a red flag. You got an inability to hire a proper property manager. That's a huge red flag. And you're overpaying, right? So there would be no scenario where I believe a California investor can buy this property at this price, $175,000, and make money. This is going to be a money pit. If you're in California and you're thinking about buying this, you are going to lose your ass. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.